in this section we'll talk about the mechanism of conduction of nerve impulse now there are various steps which are involved and we'll take all of those steps one by one so the first thing or first step is generation of the impulse so first the impulse has to get generated and then it is going to get conducted on the fiber now before the impulse is generated what is the position of the nerve fiber so here we are talking of the resting nerve fiber resting nerve fiber if we draw it like this a simple membrane then we know that it is electro positive on the outer side and electro negative on the inner side or let me draw it as a single line so electro negative on the inner side this we have already seen that electro positive nature is due to presence of many sodium ions on the outer side and there are many potassium ions on the inner side so inside are potassium ions and negative proteins because of these negative proteins the membrane is electronegative on the inner side so this is our resting nerve fiber and as the nerve fiber has opposite charges on its two surfaces outer is electro positive inner is electro negative so we call such a resting membrane as polarized it has poles positive and negative so it is called polarized membrane in resting stage at this stage what is the condition of all those channels that we talked of the channels which we wrote as sodium channels potassium channels calcium channels and chloride channels all these channels are actually proteins which operate at certain voltage so at resting stage we know the resting potential here the resting potential is minus 70 millivolt at this potential the sodium channels are closed sodium channels are closed so we can draw the same membrane in a slightly different manner also to understand that this sodium channel suppose i draw this membrane this is a plasma membrane the phospholipid and everything and this is the channel that we are talking about so channel proteins are basically transmembrane proteins and this protein is termed to have here is going to be extracellular fluid and here is neuroplasm so this channel is said to have two gates the outer is known as activation gate and the inner one is known as inactivation gate this is activation gate and this one is in activation gate outside there are more sodium ions and at this time that is at this resting potential the activation gate of sodium channel is closed because this gate is closed these sodium ions are not able to come in they remain in this extracellular fluid so all along there would be sodium ions sodium ions sodium ions so the outer side of the membrane is electro positive we can draw it like this by showing a simple line and showing the charges these charges electro positive those charges are because of sodium ions why are these sodium ions outside because at this situation the gates through which sodium can come in are closed 
and we said these channels that the sodium channels potassium channels these are actually gates or channels through which these ions come and these channels they operate at a voltage so at minus 70 millivolt which is the resting potential this gate is closed so it is a voltage channel gate you can say or a voltage gate you can say to open it or close it the regulatory mechanism is the voltage so at se minus 70 millivolt which is the resting potential sodium channels are closed so there is no scope of sodium ions coming in all sodium ions are going to remain outside and that is why the membrane is electropositive on the outer side this is the situation when the membrane is in its resting stage we will also draw a small graph or a graphical representation to understand at what voltage what happens after we understand one more uh, process so here this is resting now when is this impulse generated so on receiving stimulus now it is receiving stimulus and obviously the stimulus has to be of the threshold value we will draw this diagram first and then we will come to this one we will also draw a graphical representation showing what is happening at different voltages when after we discuss the second step now the stimulus is received after receiving the stimulus what are the changes which are going to take place at this stage before receiving the stimulus it was polarized that means electropositive outside electronegative inside this is resting this is polarized now stimulus is received we will draw this diagram first and then we will translate it in this form when stimulus is received the change is the potential from minus 70 changes to minus 55 as soon as the potential changes to this minus 55 these channels they open so now let us draw this membrane here this is our neurilemma and let us show it close then we will open it here the voltage has changed to minus 55 and what is changing this voltage is the stimulus which is which the membrane has received as soon as it comes to fi minus 55 this channel opens and as soon as this channel opens now there is entry of sodium ions possible so all those sodium ions which were there they start moving in and why are they moving in because their concentration was much higher on the outer side as compared to inner so this is the gradient actually concentration gradient so from higher concentration sodium ions start to diffuse in now let us translate this to this line diagram now what is happening is this was our membrane and say this is the place where the stimulus was received it was electropositive, electropositive, electropositive on the outer side, negative. Now, as soon as these channels open, the positively charged sodium ions, they moved in. As they move in, the inner side of the membrane becomes comparatively electropositive and the outer membrane becomes electronegative. What has happened is as soon as the nerve fiber receives stimulus of threshold value, the potential from resting potential that is minus 70 millivolts changes to minus 55. As soon as the voltage or the potential difference comes to minus 55, sodium channels open. As soon as sodium channels open, all the sodium ions start moving in why do they move in it is because of the concentration gradient their concentration was much higher on the outer side as compared to inside so they start moving in 
if we represent this in this line diagram what has happened at this place the sodium ions which were outside they have come in and as soon as they come in in this area concentration of sodium ion increases so this inner side of the membrane it becomes electro positive as more and more sodium ions come in more and more sodium channels would open if at this time the potential is calculated it is going and here the, the impulse has been generated so this is the resting state and here the impulse is generated this is the stimulus and this change which we see it is electronegative on the outer side let me use a different color this is electro positive and electronegative on the inner side so here is the impulse generated so here we were talking about generation of impulse so resting stage sodium channels are closed the reason for closure is the voltage minus 70 millivolts channels remain closed as soon as stimulus is received in this membrane part only in that region the potential becomes to minus 55 at this the sodium channels open sodium starts to move in as sodium moves in we say the charges they shift it becomes electro positive on the inner side electronegative on the outer side and here the impulse is generated now let us take only this situation is it still polarized we use the term polarized in this case when one end was having one charge and the other end was or other side of the membrane was having opposite charge here also inner one is having positive and outer one is having negative but it is reverse of what it was in the original stage original term which we use was polarized here we will start calling it depolarized D polarized and as soon as we say the membrane or the nerve fiber is depolarized that means the impulse has been generated or if we say the impulse has been generated the membrane has been depolarized so now let us draw that small graph that we were talking of this graph is actually here we will write millivolts at a resting stage here this is minus 70 so the nerve fiber is in its polarized state the potential is minus 70 volts as soon as the nerve fiber receives a stimulus the potential changes from minus 70 to minus 55 it comes to minus this is minus 55 and as soon as it comes to minus 55 there is a gradual change what has happened here now the sodium channels have opened so this potential is going to go up it is going to come to zero first and then it comes to 45 this is plus so it is at 45 now this is the maximum that we are talking of this is called action potential so here we will say that action potential is generated and action potential is plus 45 the range is plus 45 to plus 50 now at this time there is again some change which is going to take place we said all channels work at specific potential at minus 70 millivolts sodium channels remain closed at minus 55 sodium channels open after minus 55 it came to 0 and 45 all sodium channels were open at plus 45 sodium channels they close it is not going to happen suddenly as it goes up as it increases above zero it becomes plus sodium channels start to close down and potassium channels start to open up at 
plus 45, all sodium channels are closed and all potassium channels are open now. But potassium channels are open to pump the potassium ions out. We'll see that in next part. So what we have understood so far is only the first step. First step is generation of impulse. Generation of impulse means what is the situation at the resting stage? Membrane is electropositive on the outer side, electronegative on the inner side. Why is this so? Because sodium channels are closed. Sodium ions are not able to move in. This is resting stage. Membrane is polarized. Polarized means one surface has positive charge, other surface has negative charge. So we call it polarized. At this, the resting potential is minus 70 at which these sodium channels are closed. This is resting. As soon as the membrane receives a stimulus of the threshold value, the potential from resting, that is minus 70, changes to minus 55. At this potential, sodium channels open. As soon as sodium channels open, sodium ions start to move in from outer to inner side, that is from extracellular fluid to the uh, neuroplasm. Let me label it as sodium channel. And as we said that these are also called voltage channels, the reason is that because their opening closing is controlled by the various voltages, that is minus 70, minus 55 and so on. So at minus 55, sodium channels open. When they open, sodium ions come in and if sodium ions move in, just in that area, there is a collection of sodium ions, positive ions. So the inner side of the membrane becomes electropositive and comparatively the outer side is electronegative. Still, the membrane has opposite charges. Only difference is it is the reverse of original. So here, inner is positive, outer is negative. So poles are still there. but original resting was called polarized so this is known as depolarized and at this time the action potential is going to be plus 45 so first it is 70 it is resting minus 70 sorry resting at fifth minus 55 channels open and then we see a peak in the graph or in this potential it goes up to plus 45 so this is generation of impulse. Now once the impulse is generated, it has to travel on the nerve fiber, which is the conduction that we will take up in the next part.